What's up, everybody? It is Monday morning, and guess what? We got something new and exciting for you. But first, I have to say, what's up to all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, AKA Fresh from the Salon, BKA, the People's Champion. So last week, we brought to you beautiful women. But today, we got for you beautiful brown food. So, the two things we compare today is fried pork chops, not pork chops, but pork chops, and baked pork chops. But seriously, we got the fried pork chops and we got the baked pork chops. Now, I'm already going to tell you what's my favorite. When I was eating meat, it was the fried pork chops on some light bread, yo, so I can just taste it now. Not really, but my dad would fry these pork chops up. I'm talking about nice and crispy, and when you would put the pork chop on the light bread, you just had like a little bit of the juices just kind of seeping through the bread. <sighs> oh my goodness. It was, it was delicious. It was delicious. So what you going with, the fried pork chops or the baked pork chops? Now, I like baked pork chops too, but that's when I was, you know, trying to get away from the fried, but fried pork chops, that's my pick. What you guys going with? Drop it down below. And don't forget to hit that like button. Hit it. It's right there. Right here. That one. Yeah, hit that one. Peace. Get out the seat, man. You're going to take over my audience one more time, man. Hey, look here, man. Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live from All City Live TV uh, with another video, man. Hey, look, man. We got a little bit to talk about, a lot to talk about, a little bit to talk about. Video gonna be under 12 minutes, so y'all already know what time it is, man. But look, um, 2K community, it hadn't been too, 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 uh, too much going on, man. So we're just gonna talk about uh, some, some extra regular stuff, man. Number one, we're gonna talk about why Mike Wong doesn't tweet and why people, like, like, look, bro, this right here is why, why Mike Wong don't tweet. Mike Wong, I guess he played somebody online. He said, shout out to Christy. Uh, you know, whatever, for beating me in a one-on-one. -on -one. Now, I don't know who this is. I don't know who this person is. Didn't do any research. Didn't look at anything. Uh, but it's Christian, whatever. His name is Christian. He plays the game, plays uh, plays 2K, I suppose. But look, though, this is the thing right here, bro. As soon as Mike Wong tweet this out, he gets a ton of likes. But then you get stuff like this. I, I mean, not, not EJ. Come on, man. Well, EJ left the community and came back in the same day. That's my guy. He says, uh, Mike Wong, I just want to know when we going to play one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, that's cool right there. Look at this right here. Here we go. It by hacked. Uh, cool. Cool. Does he get the M Does he get the MT? Uh, we will promise. Look at this, bro. <laughs> like, like, look at this. Look at this. Mike, what happened to the shooting? Look, the latency in the game is bad. Bro, revert the hot spots. This is why this man don't tweet, boy. As soon as he tweets, y'all are on his head about something that ain't even got nothing to do with what he's tweeting about. Man, let these people be people sometimes, too. Now, look, I know that he's the head developer of a busted-ass game. I know that. But come on, man. Let that man... man. Look, 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 look. Mike, Mike don't, even give, uh, don't even give the logos... Like bro, like look at all this. The league need to be eighty need to be an eighty percent win next year instead of a fifty percent. All this stuff, bro. That, hey, hey, people. It like as soon as Mike tweets, y'all be like, bro, I don't care about none of that stuff y'all talking about. This what we need to fix this game, Mike. And now look, he is the gameplay director. Okay, so I do understand it. And it, and with the state of this game, it's not like the the, the, the uh that the that is unwarranted or unfounded, you know, the way that, that y'all holding his feet to the fire. Come on, man. Let that man live a little bit, man. You know what I'm talking about, man? Come on, man. Let that man live just a little bit, man. Don't kill. Don't kill my guy, Mike, like that. Just because, hey, I'm sure they're doing everything that they can with the limited resources they have. Because, now, look, if you want to argue that they shouldn't have limited resources, I agree with you. So, it's, they made over a billion dollars, man, already, I'm pretty sure. Look. Your resources should not be limited if you expect our pockets to not be limited. But I think about a lot of stuff and I think to myself and I say, self, when they make changes for this game, why do they make a lot of these changes? And, and I found that it's overwhelmingly because of my team. These game modes all work on the same type of sliders, right? 
So when they change layups across the board, then you go into my team and everybody's making every layup, the whether it's contested or not, then, then they make another change and then we're missing layups in the park and then they're missing those shots, those same shots in my team. So it's like, bro, just imagine if you paid, you invested $6,000 or $600 or six whatever into the game and your LeBron or Galaxy Opal or whatever the highest one is, he can't make layups in traffic. You will be pissed. So they have to find that fine line between how the game works in, they say that they say all the sliders are different, but if they turn up layups in one game mode, this is it's gonna affect it across the board. I don't know if these joints really work off of different sliders. Somebody that plays both my team and um, Park would have to tell me. Like, when they make a change in the Park, does that reflect in my team? So, like, when nobody was making shots in Park, was nobody making shots in my team? Or, or you know what I'm saying? Like, in, in quick play, when nobody was making shots in Park, was nobody making shots in quick play? I don't know that because I don't play those game modes. I would, I would hope not. I would hope that they're all on the different sliders, but I would think that if they change shooting consistency in the game or layup consistency in the game, it's going to reflect across everything. So the problems that we're having are the same problems that everybody is having, man. But I just don't know. Like, I know it's an easy fix, but, you know, hey, they, they ain't going to do it like that. The easy fix is more staff, more uh more people working on the game and a longer window to to fix the game you know what i'm saying to, to be working to be actively working to fix the game but i, I mean they're already working on 2k20 uh 2k21 right now so it is it, tough like it's it's crazy because what they should have is a maintenance team and then they should have an active maintenance team and then they should have the the, the development team and then it's like, hey, bro, okay, look, this is what we got right now. This is how the game is going. Uh, you guys just maintain it. And then work on, you know, little active things along the way. It's not like they can't afford the stuff, man. A billion dollars goes a long way. You can buy a small country or an island with that. Shoot, Tyler Perry bought, it with, bought an island with less. You can easily do that and, and pay some more staff and do all that stuff, man. But we're going to talk about that in a later video because I'm not going to get caught up about this. Um, uh, You know, caught up on this. But, but in the same vein... We got the same thing with somebody's asking. They say, hey, yo, LD2K, are you guys able to turn on previous 2K servers? Wouldn't you Wouldn't you make more money doing that? And uh, LD2K says, I've advocated for it. There's a lot I can't get into, uh, get into details here that I've advocated for for our community. I guess, look, I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing. Turning on old 2K servers is something that will never really be a thing because maybe 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 turning on 18 maybe they would leave on 18 and 19 and 20 but they're not going to turn 17 and 16 back on because there was no active there was no active um advertisement along the way in those neighborhoods so look at it like this um if you have if they turn back on the 18 servers and people, I mean, are, are they still on? If they turn back on the 17 servers or 16 servers, people will go back and play those games because we've gone back and played 19. They don't benefit from that. They benefit if you go back and play 18 and and, and seven. I mean, 18, 19, and 20. If, if you play those games, they benefit because the park is one big walk and talk and advertisement. They continue to tout those numbers, uh, simultaneous users uh, and uh, unique users to the to the to the uh, advertisers and they say look we still got those people playing this game three years later boom check this out huh huh we got these people playing this game we can still your advertisements are still being seen and thus you can give us more than money and so that's what that is so if if 17 servers are off and i don't even know they're not coming back on 18 might stay on for a while 19 to stay on for the foreseeable future because people went back did the demigod glitch they still get mad advertisement revenue off of that and uh, obviously that's going to be one of those things but but turning on other servers is not really going to be a thing just because they they don't benefit in any way from it it's on and you might have a few people that will play play the game and and may you know uh there may be a cash infusion right up front but you, if you know anything about 17 and 16, it was so easy to get money in those games. You didn't have to, uh, you didn't even have to put money into it. You could literally grind the player up from 55. But so, uh, so they don't really, they don't really stand to benefit from those games. But they do stand to benefit from 18, 19, and 20. So they probably will leave those on for longer than they normally do. And last but not least, man, we got my boy, we got my boy Coyote. 
My boy Coyote got a message for the peoples, man. Y'all let me know if y'all, if you guys uh, agree with him. I'm going to let him talk. I'm going to let y'all listen real fast. My guy, I need you to do something for me. Yeah, let them know. In this game, square buttons shouldn't be what defense is. Okay. Y'all have to delete. If they got to put, tell them they got to put something in here where it detects how many random square button attempts that people are using. Okay, when people think defense, they think square button. Okay, that's, that's not defense, man. Every year, that random reaching square button allows people to get all types of interceptions. Y'all got, they got to put in some type of system where it detects a lot of unnecessary random reaches. And they had to actually penalize the team for it or something. Defense is staying in front of your man, shutting them down, keeping your hands up on shots. It's not spamming triangle, spamming a square button. You know how many times people just random reach for no reason? They got to take penalties for that, man. It got to be a harsh penalty for that, man. Y'all got it set up where it's defense. And now we got matched up with the same cheesing people. Man. Now, my guy Coyote is right in every facet of what he's saying. People don't even play defense on this game. The only thing they do is reach, reach, reach. There are times when I play this game right, and there's a guy 30 feet down court, and somebody's standing right in front of me. I dribble, pause, dribble, pause, dribble, pause. And all three times you see the person in front of me doing this. This is it. To the point where centers just run, rush the baseline, step over the baseline, which is a technical foul, by the way, but we're not going to talk about that because y'all not advanced enough to be able to program that in. But they step over the baseline, just reach, 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 hoping that they get an animation. They don't know which direction the ball is going. We come down, split both of it, something, hey, 10% of the time. They're going to give them the animation in the right direction. They don't know where you're going to pass the ball, when you're going to pass the ball. Somebody's down court. The person just anticipates that a pass is going to be made. They don't know what direction the pass is going to be made in. Dude all the way down court. You give them the steal. Somebody tries to press you that has no defense in their bill whatsoever. They press square. They get the ball. I have all the defensive badges in the world. I press square. I hardly ever get a steal. I put on lightning reflexes, though. I got it now. I get steals now. But it's just, it's, it, it, it is crazy. You put in three different ways to pass the ball. Uh, triangle for a lob pass or Y on Xbox. B for a bounce pass or circle on PlayStation. And then X, what is it, X? Yeah, X on X or A on, uh, on uh, Xbox. All three of these passes can be thwarted by one button. How does that make sense? It really makes the other buttons obsolete. Why would I pass the ball with anything different? I try to throw a lob pass, he presses square, he's going to get it. I try to, I try to throw a bounce pass, that's got a chance to hit people's legs, and it's got a chance the dog gonna get stolen by the same square button. You don't have to press, I can see if you had to press up and square, and then you could get the steal, or maybe down and square for if you want to steal a bounce pass, and then you can press to the side, left or to the right with square, and then you, you still, still even pass, still chest passes. But bro, you don't have to do anything other than sit here and spam the button. And you got so many people that cannot play this game at all and they just sit there and rely upon spamming the square button. Meanwhile, is my timing just off or am I just bad at the game because I cannot get, I can't steal the ball with random squares. Trey. I can't even, shut up. I can't steal the ball when I'm sometimes, when I'm holding the left trigger and I'm got my man boxed out and you know you can't throw this pass and my guy still won't reach up and steal it, even when I'm hitting the button on time. I'm hitting the button when the ball is in the air. Is that why I'm getting penalized? Because I see the ball coming and then I hit the button and then, uh, and you know, I get the steal. I mean, or I don't get the steal or what? Like what's going on? Or, or is it the random, is the latency in the game so high that if you just spam square randomly, uh, anticipating passes, then it will go through in time to say, okay, he pressed square while the ball was in the air. Because we know these people are not pressing square with the ball in the air. They're just randomly spamming square. It's just all to it. 
It's like if you go for it, like have you ever played? Have have any of you guys that designed this game ever played this basketball in real life? I know that Scott OG say he did. Okay, so have you ever gone for a steal and not got backdoor? Do you know what happens in real life when you go for a steal and the person actually catches the ball? That's a free bucket. Damn near every time you have given up the lane. But in this game, you can reach and get back. That's not in any level of basketball ever. Or if you go for the steal because you anticipated it and now you're stuck out here. In this game, it's like you just reaching in place. Nobody ever did that ever. You can't steal a ball by just standing in place in real life. So it has to be a harsher penalty. We have to do something about that. It has to be done. Why can't we be back, be back like 2K18 where when you try to steal, nobody's ever tried to steal the ball just by doing this in real life. <laughs> this is this, that's just not a steal attempt in real life. A real steal attempt is like it was in 2K18 before they nerfed it, where when you were press square, if nobody was doing it, you would go all out for the steal, anticipating the steal, signifying that I really was anticipating it, and then you were going down court. You might end up at half court if you was in the paint, if you went for a bad steal attempt. Now, obviously, we, we figured out later on in the year that if you hail left trigger and hail back towards your guy that you were trying to uh, steal the ball from and then press square, then he would, he would do that. But now that's automatic in the game. It shouldn't be in the game like that, man. It's way too easy to play defense. It's, it's, it's stupid, man. Like, come on, man. It ain't no defense in the game. It ain't no offense in the game. And you can't really be good at, at either one, really. Like, let's just be real. Most people that think they're good at defense last year, you had a lockdown and you just, you had the aura around you. So you do couldn't shoot the ball. He couldn't dribble. He forgot how to do even play basketball when the lock was around him. Now locks are getting torched because they're the only ones that can't steal the ball. You, you, you go for an own ball steal with a lockdown with something like over an 85 steal. You get you get rung up for a foul instantly. Go for a steal in the air with one of them guys. I mean, I mean you just going to go to, you're going to do some kind of crazy animation like that. You're not going to get the steal. Meanwhile, people that don't have defensive bills are getting steals. It's crazy to me, man. I really don't care. I think they should just really, look, how often do you see interceptions in, in the real game of basketball? Because you have a bevy of, of of ways to pass the ball, so that really don't happen like that. But I agree with Coyote. Look, man, these people, these are the same people that cried about when the bouncing Betty in, in uh, Black Ops 2, it was too powerful. <sighs> I can't duck it in time. Meanwhile, I never got killed by a bouncing Betty. But because of the lag in the game, you can kill me, but I can't kill you. So you can shoot me before I shoot you because of the lag. So you can steal these balls while they're in the air because of the lag. Meanwhile, like when you do, do people, one dude actually had, had the nerve to say, I play like I play, I play like I play here in the game. I play like that in real life. I like, bro, you should be playing for a division one basketball team or in the league or something. You got like eight steals this game. Just by, just by your, if your anticipation is that awesome, then you should be doing something else besides sitting here playing this game. The truth of the matter is people are just spamming square. Your anticipation is not that good because when your anticipation is that good, you, you could actually translate that to something else. It is what it is though, man. Like I said, like, like we know people just spamming square and then they claiming they're not, but it's just like, because the sick, because the places where they, where they hit square, it doesn't make sense, but there's no penalty for it. So why not spam it? Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Y'all let me know one more time, man. Do y'all like the baked pork chops? I put them on light bread and I eat my baked pork chops. I mean, I eat my uh, fried pork chops like that. Back when I was eating meat, I ain't eating meat in almost two years. Now, almost two years, Bridget, dang. It is almost two years for me, not for you. Oh, uh, but uh, yeah, I stopped in January of 2018. So yeah, that was it. Uh, I was only two days behind. Okay, two days behind me. So you stopped January 20th. And I, it's still further away for you. Uh, but anyway, then we got the baked pork chops. Bridget used to make some awesome baked pork chops. I'm not going to lie, because we've been trying to get healthier for a long time. But uh, you know, it is what it is. Fried pork chops with the rice on the side. If you're from South Carolina, you already know about that fried pork chop sandwich with the light bread where you got to... You got to do that to get that light bread up out, your, out the roof of your mouth the with, the, with the rice on the side. Ooh. And if you take the and if you take the doggone grease out the pan and you mix it with something, you put some gravy on that rice. Bye. I say you put some gravy on that rice. Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Y'all know how to make gravy. I know how to make gravy.
thing. That's how you make gravy. You take the grease out of the pan and you gotta go put it with some flour and mix it together, man. What are you talking about? I know how to cook. I thought you know how to cook. You know how to cook. Anyway, man, I gotta get up out of here. Can I cook better than you? I just don't. Anyway, I'm gonna get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Holla, guys.